Okay, so for this project, I already had my towel picked out and I did the top that I wanted for this towel. And I don't know if you can tell what color this is, but this is actually a really pretty green. And I'm using the Karen Simply Soft, which has a really nice um, shine or gloss to it. And this color is a dark sage. So now I just want to do a bottom to it, bottom shell. And I'm only going to do that to the front part that shows on the towel. So first, I'm just going to do my embroidery stitch along the bottom of the towel. So you're going to need your tapestry needle as well as your yarn. And go ahead and thread your yarn onto your tapestry needle. And for this project, I'm going to be using a J-hook, J-crochet hook or 6 millimeter crochet hook. And of course, you'll need your scissors. So once you have your tapestry needle, you're just going to take the bottom front of your towel and you're just going to go from the bottom up right at the beginning of where they do their um, bottom sewing stitch and then just come up through the towel and just leave enough on the back to tie your knot and then put your thread off to the side like this and then you're going to go in from the top down and you're not going to go all the way you're going to go about an inch not an inch a centimeter and then just come up for an embroidery stitch so we're going to do this all the way across so go ahead and take your yarn to the side and you're not going to go inside your loop, otherwise your stitch is going to come out. So you're going to go on the outside portion of this loop right here. So just go back in through the outside portion. And then you're going to come up again about a centimeter. And then you have your next embroidery stitch. So I'm going to do a couple with you so you can see how I'm doing my embroidery stitch. And I'm following this um, white thread where they sewed the bottom of the towel, which is nice. So I'm able to follow that all the way across so it'll be straight. So again, I'm going to hold my yarn off to the side. And then I'm going outside the loop, down. And then I'm taking about a centimeter with the needle. And I'm going to do one more with you, and you can see how you're making a nice embroidery stitch all across the bottom. Okay, so go ahead and finish your embroidery stitch all the way across the bottom of the towel, and then come back, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've reached the end of my towel, and you could see how the bottom of the front towel looks with your nice embroidery stitch all the way across the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is just go outside the loop again into the back of the towel. And I'm going to go ahead and tie my knot, and you could see where I actually ran out I almost made it, but then I ran out of yarn towards the end. But you're going to go ahead and just take and tie a knot. I'm just going to weave mine through a little bit. Since I have this yarn here, I can go ahead and tie my knot. If you don't have that, just go ahead and tie a knot in the spot that you're at. And since this is on the back side, I can go ahead and just trim it. And then I'm going to go to the other side of the towel because I still have this one end that I started with. And just put that on my tapestry needle. 
And then I'm just going to take and just weave the yarn end through. And then I'm going to tie my knot. And then you're done with your embroidery stitch along the bottom okay, of the Okay, so towel. now I'm going to face the stitches towards me like this with this facing down towards my body. And then I'm just going to go into that top right corner with my crochet hook and just take my yarn and loop it through. And just make sure you leave enough yarn to tie your knot. And you're going to do a single crochet, yarn over and just go through that loop for a single crochet. And then you're just going to tie a knot. And then you can bury your work as you go. So I'm going to bury this yarn end as I work my stitches. And I'm going to do a single crochet into the same stitch. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet, so yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, and do a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and go through all three. Now I'm going to do a double crochet into the same stitch. I'm going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, I'm going to yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two for a double crochet. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet into the same stitch, so yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. And then I'm going to do a single crochet into the same stitch. So go into the same stitch, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And then I have a nice little shell there. So now I'm going to go into the next stitch. The same time I'm burying that loose yarn end, I'm going to yarn over, two loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then I'm going to do a half double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on my hook, yarn over, and then go through all three for a half double crochet. Now I'm going to do a double crochet, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet, yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all three. Now I'm going to do a single crochet in the same stitch. You go into the same stitch, yarn over, two loops on your hook, Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And you can see how you have a nice shell pattern that's forming at the bottom. So we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way across to the end. And then come back and I'll show you um, how to finish off. But I'm going to do one more with you to show you the pattern. So you're going to go into the next stitch. Now with this next stitch, I'm just going to show you the embroidery stitch has the top longer yarn and then you also have underneath it there's a shorter little stitch. So you actually have here the longer yarn and then you have the shorter one here. So when you do your stitches you go through both of these with your crochet hook. 
So now I'm going to go into the next stitch. So I'm going to go through both of those loops and I'm going to grab that yarn in so I can bury it. And then I'm going to yarn over and bring my yarn loop under the stitch. And I'm going to do a single crochet, yarn over and go through both loops. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, go back into the same stitch, yarn over. Then I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. Now I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on my hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two for a double crochet. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, and I'm going to go ahead and cut my little yarn end there, the one that I was burying because now it's getting in the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and yarn over. And then I have three loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. And then I'm going to go into the same stitch, yarn over. Then I have two loops on my hook and I'm going to do a single crochet, yarn over and go through both. So I'm just going to show you how it's looking. So you can see the bottom of the front of the towel and how it's looking. So go ahead and finish that pattern all the way across and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so when you reach the end, you're going to go ahead and um, finish off. So you're going to yarn over and pull through enough yarn to bury into your work. And it's going to show you what it looks like on mine. So you have a nice bottom edge. And then on my towel, I have the back of the towel coming down a little bit more than the front. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on the front onto the inside part of the back. So if you wanted to do that, you can do that as well. But um, as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to come back and just show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is how the bottom of my towel looks. And I'm actually, I really love the way it turned out. And if you have your loose ends, you can just take your tapestry needle and you can take and go into your work and just bury it. You can go towards the back too and just go through the towel and then just weave the loose end through so no one can see it and then just cut it. And then just do that with both of your loose yarn ends and my product is finished. And I love the way it turned out.